Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Greta Berishite. I'm a life and business coach and today I'm going to give you five tips on how to start to believe in yourself. So you know what? Let's just get started now. Tip number one, watch inspirational people on YouTube, on TV, anywhere, everywhere. People who have been in your shoes and have made it. Watch their stories, get inspired. We are people just like you. If they have done it, then you can do it too. They were not born stars, as majority of us think. They are people just like us. It took them hard work, consistency and crazy belief in themselves in order to achieve their goals. In fact, people who are billionaires are the people who have failed over and over and over and over again. People who have failed the most in their lives. Then we looked back at their fa failures, we learned from them and then we reached their goals. Tip number two, Surround yourself with people who lift you up and praise your success. With positive people who are happy for you when you do well. Guys, it's really, really important to surround yourself with the right people. You are who you surround yourself with. If you want to achieve your goals, dreams and ambitions, you need to surround yourself, yourself with people who want to do exactly the same, achieve their goals, dreams, and ambitions. So you can support one another and empower each other. Guys, keep your circle small and safe. It's the quality that matters, not quantity. If you don't have these people right now in your life, then let go of all the bad apples that you do have and create the space for the right people in your life. Also, put yourself out there to meet the right people. In the meantime, if you find yourself totally and completely alone, as I actually been in this situation as well when I let go of my bad apples, what you do, you watch inspiring entrepreneurs. In the meantime, you start... Uh, building the right mindset for yourself and you start putting yourself out there to meet like-minded people. But please don't waste your time on the bad apples who will put you down, who don't believe in you, who criticize you, who tell you you're not gonna make it, what are you doing or who are your haters. This is the worst that you can do. This is, these people are your dream crashers. Why would you want them in your life? You only have one life. Be careful who you surround yourself with. So if you really care what other people think about you, please watch my video that you can find by clicking on the link right here. It's called why you must not care what others think. Tip number three, clap for yourself. Give yourself daily compliments, motivation, inspiration, self-affirmations. For self-affirmations and self-love, you can watch my video that you can find just following the link right here. Guys, self-talk is a very powerful tool that you must use to benefit you and to benefit your mindset and to put yourself into a posi positive zone. Guys, actually, let me share a story with you. So I have a neighbor who's constantly cursing, using very, very bad language. He is always nagging, complaining. He just comes across as this really a person I wouldn't like to spend time with. Now, funnily enough, um, he's very polite to me and I'm very polite to him, but you know what I mean. So, um, one time he was sharing with me, he was showing me this flower and he said to me, do you know that you need to talk kindly to the flowers in order for them to blossom? And I said, yes, they do know that. And he, as an example, started talking to this flower kindly and giving her love. And when I was going to my home, I was thinking like, well, how does this make sense? 
you talking kindly to the flower and giving the flower love, but you yourself, you're abusing yourself with the horrible words, with cursing, with thinking nasty thoughts, by constantly complaining, being negative, just being a horrible person to yourself. And then it made me think again and I realized that this is what a lot of people do. We give compliments to their friends, we praise others, we are kind to others, but with the self-talk, with how they behave to themselves is really nasty and horrible. And when we start to feel really low and depressed and not happy with themselves, not happy with their life. So guys, pay attention to how you speak to yourself. If you're talking with others in a kind, lovely way, why are you rejecting yourself like that? Why are you being nasty and mean to yourself? And as I said to you guys, I have a video for self-love affirmations, how to talk kindly to yourself to achieve your goals and ambitions and to boost your day with positivity and you can find that video just by clicking on this link right here. Number four, guys, control your thoughts. You are in charge of your thoughts. You can actually control your thoughts. So when you are thinking about something daily and a negative thought creeps in and you start to victimize yourself or blame somebody or nag or complain, Acknowledge that thought straight away. Think of where it's coming from and change it, all right? Then you will change your every single negative thought with a hundred of positive ones. Your life will change. Your mindset will change and then your life will change. In the beginning, it's gonna be an effort. You will have to make a conscious effort to change that thought. But after a while, it will become a habit. And then you won't even notice yourself how your self-love and self-positive talk to yourself will change for the better. Tip number five, set daily goals to yourself. So for example, morning routine is very important. So in the morning when you wake up, if you do gratitude first, then meditation, then self-affirmations, then getting a sheet of paper or a notebook and writing your daily goals. What do you want to achieve throughout the day? And then start with the hardest things first. So turn off your phones if you have to and focus. Concentrate on those hardest, nastiest things first, then get them, tick them off, and then do the things that you love to do that are on your goal list. Taking every single box off will make you feel really good about yourself. It will make you feel self-value, self-worth. You will start to believe in yourself more and you'll feel great about yourself. Also guys, you can watch my video where I'm sharing five things that you must do if you want to achieve your dreams and you can find that video just by clicking here. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, join my High Value Mindset Facebook group. It's a really amazing group with a yoga coach, fitness coach, life and business coaches, where we are providing the advice free by doing lives in the group. So it's an amazing group to join. Also follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called High Value Mindset, most inspirational posts. And I also do lives answering your questions on my High Value Mindset Instagram. And yeah, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Kisses from London. Mwah.